Hey guys, what is up? It's me, it's Sana, and today I've got a new video for you guys. Today I'm gonna be showing you my books. I don't have all my books here. I've got a lot of books here, but some of my books are still back in the Netherlands. So I'm showing you most of my books. Let's just put it like that. So I'm gonna show you guys my books. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it and let's get into it. Alright, so here we go. It's my pride and joy. Ta da! <laughs> um, if it looks a little bit weird here, that's because there's supposed to be a book here, but that one's on my nightstand now, so it's falling over a little bit. I don't even know how many books I have. Okay, let me cut my books. I've got 51 books plus a Kindle. I got here with eight. <laughs> I brought eight books and I've got 51 and a Kindle. 20 of the 51 books that I have I still have to read and there's two coming today. So I've actually got 53 books and 22 books I need to read. Awesome. So if you're like trying to like figure out how I've got them like organized, I don't really have them organized. The only way I have them organized is like on size, like height wise. All right, so as you guys can see over here, we've got two heart stopper books. Um, I want to get, <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared me. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to get the rest, but so far I've only got these two and I've already read this one and I still have to read this one, and I love this one. It was really cute. Um, these two are the only graphic novels I own, and seriously, I love them. They're super cute. Next to that, we've got um, Plain Bed Heroines. This is gonna be the book that we're gonna read next for um, Cephalides, which is the book club that I joined, which I'm very excited about because this has been on my TBR for like ages, and I just haven't gotten around to reading it yet, so I'm glad we're gonna read it next. Next to that, we've got Stalking Jack the Ripper. I haven't read it yet. Um, I've also seen some mixed reviews about it. Some people hated it, some people loved it. We've got a part of the Twilight Saga. Um, all of the other Twilight books are still back in the Netherlands. The only book I didn't own yet was this one, which is Life and Death, um, which is literally just Twilight, re like it says, Twilight Reimagined. I haven't read this one yet either, so. Next to that, we've got one of the few hardcovers I own. I prefer paperbacks, so most of my books are paperbacks. I have seven hardcovers and the rest is all paperbacks. Um, this book is A Lesson in Vengeance. I already read this book. Um, I loved it. It was really great. can't remember how much, like how many stars I gave this book. Next to that we've got Cemetery Boys. I haven't read this book yet. Um, I've seen it on Book Talk a lot. A lot of people like love this book, so I'm really excited to read it. This looks so pretty. Like, come on. Are you serious? It's gorgeous. The Mythic Coderos, which I haven't read yet, so a lot of people are giving mixed reviews, but I'm pretty excited to read it because it sounds pretty interesting. And it's also happening in New York, which is pretty cool, so I want to read it. <laughs> We've got my all-time favorite, my baby, my everything. I love this book with my whole heart. Um, I, this book is everything. One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I rated this book five stars. I read it in one day and I'm gonna reread it soon. Because, oh my God, this book is amazing. It was sapphic science fiction and it's just, oh my God. All of the books by Casey McQuiston, McQuiston I love it. Like a few days ago, I saw that there is going to be like a special hardcover edition of like Red, White and Royal Blue. It's coming out in November, I guess who already pre-ordered it. Me! <laughs> and we've got The Once in Future, which is... I haven't read this book yet. I don't know if you can see it, but like the... The binding is like a little weird. Um, like a lot of pages are like sticking out, so it's probably like self-bound or whatever it's called. I was very confused when I saw that. I was like, okay, well... I wasn't expecting this, to be honest. Next to that, we've got Sadie, which is an amazing book. I tabbed this book. I didn't put in much tabs because I was just too, like, sucked into the story. 
it was amazing. It was so good. Um, it's fiction, it's mystery, it's a thriller, and it's young adult. And it's so good. Next to that, we've got This is How You Lose the Time War. Um, this is the first book I read in the book club that I joined. It's it's a really good book. Then we've got I Kissed a Girl. I haven't read it yet. Very excited to read it. This one. I still can't pronounce his name. Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. I also tapped this book, as you can see. Um, I love this book. It was amazing. I think I rated it five stars. I cried while reading this book. It was amazing. It was a really good book. Then we've got Tell Me How You Really Feel. I think I rated this one four or five stars. I don't hear a lot of people talking about this book. So here I am talking about this book. Go read it. <laughs> then we've got Wilder Girls. I haven't read this book yet. Next up, we've kind of got Book Talk's favorites, Sh the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Um, so far, I've only read Shadow and Bone, and I absolutely loved it. I've seen the Shadow and Bone series, like season one. I want to finish reading these first before I start reading these two, the Six of Crows duology. Six of Crows, Crooked Kingdom. I've heard so many great things about these books, and I'm very excited to read them. Oh shit, oh, I'm fucked. The skull fell behind the dresser. Shit. Next to that we've got the Grim Rose Girls. It's about a girl who got murdered, four friends, and apparently a fate that they can't escape. And then we've got the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This book, oh my god. I read this book, I think I rated it five stars. Um, it was so good, it was amazing. You guys really, really, really need to read it. And then we've got Gideon the Ninth. Um, not entirely sure what this book is about, but I've seen a lot of people like recommend this book, and apparently it's supposed to be a sapphic read. So you know, as long as it's sapphic, I'm in. Next up, we've got Cirque by Madeline Miller. I haven't read this book either, but I have read The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller, and I absolutely love that book. So I'm expecting to love this book too. Next up, we've got The First Sister. Literally, I've got no clue what this is about. I just left the cover and it was five dollars and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. So that's why I got it. It looks pretty. St stuff to read it and we'll see what we think of it when we read it. <laughs> Next up, we've got Crier's War. This was a good book. I loved it. It was amazing. Next up, we've got Ironheart. This is the follow-up from Crier's War, so I still have to read this book. I haven't read it yet. Um, Next up, we've got Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Um, this is the second book. Um, I read Children of Blood and Bone on my Kindle. I've got the actual book, but it's still back in the Netherlands, so I, I didn't bring it here, so I read it on my Kindle. Ninth House. Um, as you can see, I tabbed a lot in this book. Um, I think this is the first book that I tabbed. This book is so good. It sort of, it sort of ends on a cliffhanger, so I really need a second book to like figure out what's gonna happen next. And we've got Last Night at the Tele Telegraph Club, um, which is also a great book. It was pretty cute. And um, this book is, I think, set in like the, yeah, this is set in the, in American, like the 50s, and it's such a cute book. Next up, we've got Cinderella is Dead, which is basically a retelling of Cinderella, and it was really good. I really liked it. And then we've got The Jasmine Throne. I finished reading this book, yes, no, two days ago, I think. Um, I rated it four stars. It was a great book. I was just confused a lot. So that's why I rated it four stars. Up next, we've got a big girl. We've got a big one. <laughs> we've got The Priory of the Orange Tree, which I think I rated with four and a half stars. I love this book so much. Um, it was one, it was like 800 something pages. So it was a huge book to get through, as you can see but it was so good. It just took me a while to actually get into it. I was very excited to read it at first, but when I started reading it, I was so confused because there was way too many build, like way too much world building going on. It's the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I read this book when I was still in the Netherlands and I cried while reading the last 50 pages of this book. I am literally not joking. I love this book. It was so good.
dresser, we've got a stack of books. Why are these books here? Um, these are books that I read, but I didn't love as much, so I put them over here. The book that's on top is called The Transition Baby. Um, I was very excited to read this book. We read this book with the staff ladies, and I was really excited to read it because it sounded like a really good book, but when I read it, no. It wasn't what I expected it to be, which is pretty unfortunate. We've got Satisfaction Guaranteed, which I also tabbed. This was a cute book. It was really great. A Royal Highness, which I also tabbed. Um, I had too many expectations for this book because people were saying that this was like the sapphic version of Red, White and Royal Blue, which it was definitely not. So my expectations were way too high when I read this book. Next up, we've got one of the worst books I own, and I'm not exaggerating. The Argonauts. This is a non-fiction book and this is one of the two non-fiction books i own i'm not a fan of non-fiction and this book proved why i got no clue what this book was about so i really did not like this book so that's why i rated it one star i'm actually impressed with myself that i made it through this book but no next non-fiction book is greedy by jen winston um yeah greedy notes from a bisexual who wants too much um, this, yeah, like I said, this is also a non-fiction book. It was a great book. Uh, I think I rated it like three and a half stars. Next, we've got Sweet and Bitter Magic. This is one of the hardcovers I own. Um, it was a great book. It was pretty cute. Uh, next up, we've got If This Gets Out. Here's the thing about this book. I loved it. I thought it was a great book. But this book, to me, really read like a fan fiction. Um, when I was reading this book, my mind just kept going back to Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson. And I know that I'm not the only one. Because the first time that I saw someone make a video about this book, it was one of the writers who co-wrote this book. And the way they were sketching it, I was like, are they talking about Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson? And then they said that it's a book that was coming out soon, which is called If This Gets Out with things that were discussed in this book and things that are discussed about Harry Styles and Louis Tomlinson, I was like, all right, this book is either heavily inspired by him or was just a fan fiction about them. Other than that, it was still a great book. It was just that that part really was like, okay, I don't know what to think about it, but still it was a great book. So if you guys wanna read it, you guys should read it. Next up, we've got another pretty uh, like pretty big book. Um, this is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and other classic works. Um, I got this book for one of my friends, so it's not actually mine. We've got the stars and the blackness between them. And when I tell you that I was so disappointed when I started reading this book, I am not joking. So this is the only book that I own that I did not finish. book is called Girl Serpent Thorn. This is another hardcover I own and I'm currently, well currently, this is going to be the next book that I'm going to read. So that's why it's here. We've got Harry Styles or Dorio, which is, as you can see, a book about Harry Styles. Next to that, we've got Sane's picture book. We've got Tired Tired Sea, which looks like this. Next up, we've got Unbelievers, which is my recent member of the family. <laughs> We've got Gods and Monsters, which I've already read, and as you can see, I tapped this book. And the last book I have is also fan fiction, which is called Young and Beautiful, yeah, which is also fan fiction. Um, these two are by the same writer, and these two are absolutely amazing, and I love these two. These are my babies. These are my pride and joy. Then, last but definitely not least, we've got my Kindle, and I've got a few books here on my Kindle, so let's open it. I'm currently reading the Law of Hypothesis on this book. Oh, right, so I've got The Hate You Give on my Kindle. I've got this one as an actual book, but again, that one is back in the Netherlands, so I don't have it here, so I had to get it on my Kindle because I really wanted to read it. Smile Left Your Eyes 
Um, and I should have read the trigger warnings before I read this book. Um, so just so you know, before you guys buy this book, read the trigger warnings, because this book had some pretty heavy topics which, which I was not aware of. Um, next to that I've got Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I've got that book. I've got like an actual copy of the book, but again, that one is in the Netherlands. The subversion. Um, I'm not entirely sure what this book is about, but um, somebody that uh, somebody on TikTok wrote this book and she like released it, I think like last, no, this month. So I wanted to support her, so I bought the book. We set the dark on fire. I've also got that book as an actual copy, but again, that one's back in the Netherlands. Uh, Children of Blood and Bone, like I already explained. I read that one, loved it, um, but I left the actual book back in the Netherlands, so yeah. My mom also downloaded all of the Harry Potter books for me, so they're on here too. Next to that we've got Sorcery of Thorns. Again, I've got that book. A book that I left at home, so I bought it on my Kindle. a lot longer than I intended it to be. That's the book tour. I hope you guys liked it and if you guys want like more book related videos let me know in the comments because I'd love to make more. Um, let me know like what kind like what books you guys have read from the books that I own and if you guys have any recommendations let them know in the comments down below because I'd love to get more books. <laughs> um, yeah I hope you guys like this video. If you did give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And there you guys will see me in one of my next videos. Bye guys. We've been dancing for so long under the stars. I feel that the grass will cut through my skin. All the bills we take up seem to prolong our existence.